Hey, I'm Stu. I'm the co-founder of Type. Type is a new kind of document editor with deeply embedded AI writing and editing features designed to harmonize with the natural writing process. In this video, I'll show you how to use Type to improve something you've already written and generate much better drafts moving forward. Let's jump in. So I'm gonna start by improving a blog post I wrote on Type's blog a while ago. It's actually already been published, but I think it'll benefit from a refresh. So I'm gonna take the URL and import it directly into Type's document editor. And Type will import my content, including any tables or images in my post. So I can just start editing it right here. But here, since I already have a draft, I'm gonna kick off the editing process by asking Type Chat for feedback. Type Chat is an AI powered assistant designed to help you with writing and editing. You can almost think of it like a human editor or writing partner. So it's gonna think about my potential goals and audience for this post and make some suggestions that'll help improve it. When chat generates something it thinks belongs in my document, it'll wrap it in a text block like this. So I can do things like insert it into my document or copy it to my clipboard. Okay, this post compares the three popular AI models and chat's first suggestion is to make the introduction just way crisper and clearer, which I agree with. Um, so I'm gonna check out its rewrite here which you'll notice adds a nice bulleted list introducing the three major models with a good little summary. And I think I like that. So I can tap this apply edits icon and actually preview the edit in my document. And if I only liked a couple of the changes, I could just accept those and reject the rest. But I think I like all these changes, so I will just accept all. And chat is of course super flexible, so you can pretty much ask it to do anything. But for this post, I think it'd be nice to add a table towards the very top that just summarizes which model is best for which type of writing task. So I'll ask chat to create a table that summarizes which model is best across a variety of writing tasks. And Type is gonna use any content it finds in my document to help inform the table that it makes. And it's gonna write it in a way where it should fit in pretty nicely to my doc. So I think this looks about right. I could expand chat if I wanted to get a little bit more space here. And since this is a brand new table that I'm adding to my doc, I could hit apply edit and Type will kind of guess where it should place it. But I know where I wanna put it. So I'm just gonna click these dots and drag and drop it directly at the bottom of my introduction. So that's chat. You can do pretty much anything with it. It's tightly integrated with the document, but often you just wanna write some stuff yourself. You don't necessarily wanna be prompting an AI bot all day. So I'm just gonna to go to my conclusion and make some revisions that I, I think are honestly just faster to do myself. And okay, like any writing process, I have my moment of doubt here where I know this could probably be a little better. So I'm gonna highlight one paragraph in particular I didn't quite think I nailed. Click the AI drop-down menu and tap improve and type will give me a few alternatives and ways that I could phrase this. And there we go, I think human touch was a much better phrase than humanity, which was too broad. Except I'm gonna reject its other suggestions and I've got something I'm happy with. So before I go and actually publish this though, I will do a quick review to make sure I don't have any errors. In the sidebar, you'll see this reviews tab all the way to the right, where I can run a check over my entire document. So the AI can flag anything from grammar errors and spelling errors to just general opportunities to improve my writing, or I can even provide my own instructions. But here, all I need to do is check for errors. So I'm just gonna run the fix errors review. And I don't need all this space anymore. And sure enough, very embarrassing. Looks like I had errors in the original post. This is a small one. I had an extra comma I didn't need. I'll accept that edit. Trade-off needs a hyphen, whoops. And I had ChaGPT instead of ChatGPT, which is definitely not a real app. So I'm going to accept it and we're all done. I now have a post I can go copy and paste into you know where I publish. I could have also exported it as a Word doc or a PDF if that's what you need to do in your workflow. All right, but real quick, this is the fun part. Now I basically have a template for a blog post that I really like. I'm gonna be writing a lot more of these comparison posts showing off different models and products, and I'm really happy with how this post turned out. So let's generate a brand new draft using this one as a template. So I'm gonna exit out of this document, and you know what? I'm gonna type home screen. I have my folders over here and my docs to the right. I'm gonna create a new blog folder and move this one in there. In that folder, I'm gonna create a new document, and this time I'm gonna open Generate Draft to have the AI actually write the first draft. So I'll be writing a blog post comparing the top reasoning models, which right now are O1 and DeepSeek R1. 
This will probably be outdated by the time we publish this video. And I'm gonna add some source material. So type has a knowledge base to pull from. I could upload the PDFs to these papers, but I found a couple of good summary posts, including on OpenAI's blog and a post on Medium. But before I hit generate, I'll add a template and you probably guessed it. We'll use the post that we just wrote as a template here. So type's gonna generate a brand new draft using the same format and style as the template we gave it. You'll notice it also has a comparison table kind of up top, use a very similar introduction. Even the subsections follow a pretty similar approach, but obviously it's populated with the new information that we gave it. So when you have a piece of writing you like, you can just keep using that to accelerate your next draft. And that can be anything from like emails, blog posts, academic papers, kind of whatever. But for now, that's a wrap. I just wanted to show you the basics. You can try everything you just saw here at type.ai, and there's some more in-depth videos on our YouTube page. So with that, welcome to Type, and happy writing.